a very popular enhancement request in the last year was uh, had to do with the way that SolidWorks handles reference planes. Now we always need to create reference planes in a variety of situations to create other geometry or to mate other geometry to and this is an area where uh, we we could have added to the depth of functionality a little bit. You see that that when we create a reference plane we have a completely new interface for doing so where we can pick up to three possible references. In fact with this new mechanism uh, the new mode of selections, we've more than doubled the number of possible plane combinations we can come up with. For example, we can now create a plane through two axes. A lot of users had asked for a plane that's tangent to two cylinders. Not only do we give you the two cylinders, but you can now flip the direction on any of those placement options to give up to four possible combinations for that reference plane. In the past, you may have had to create sketches to get certain pieces of reference geometry to come in the way you want. You shouldn't have to do that anymore with the way we handle reference planes now. For example, to create a tangent reference plane but add some specified angle, I just turn on my angle option, key in a value, and then I just either uh, flip the location of the tangency and I can get several different combinations as to where I want that plane. So I should always be able to create exactly the reference planes I want exactly in the locations I want with a lot fewer or with a lot less intervention. And here's my favorite one. If I pick on two non-planar faces or non-parallel faces I can now detect uh, on any two faces whether they're they're parallel or not I now get the mid-plane surface between the two and that's really handy for creating symmetry for aligning things creating midpoint type relationships it's really easy to use this new interface and it will really expand the number of of plane combinations that you can come up with